Hi everyone, Flash here. A uh, quick review of a couple of the Hoka uh, models I want to share with you because I've come to a conclusion this past week and I thought I want to pass it on. I defaulted to the Rincon 3 as uh, in my rotation as, as one of my daily trainers, I guess Max Cushiony ones. I got it on sale uh, and I thought, uh, what the heck. Uh, I have no problem with the outsoles, by the way, of the Hokas, even if they don't have necessarily a lot of rubber coverage protecting the um, the foam, I still find that I was able to, although you see some wear on the Hokas, I, I wouldn't shy away from Hokas if you can get them for a good price because uh, even if it seems like the foam is wearing, it doesn't tend to affect the performance of the shoe in my opinion. Anyhow, just want to slip that in as well. So I had the Rincon 3 and I picked up on sale the Mach uh, 5 and I'm glad I did. Uh, it was a pure coincidence. It was on sale, you know, Black Friday deal, and I got a good price for it. And I want to tell you why I'm actually going to swap and um, move to the Mach 5. Externally, it seems a bit of a longer shoe if you, if you put them uh, side by side, so you can tell. But it's mainly because of that external uh, heel uh, foam that tends to be, you know, increasing the length of the shoe. So it may seem like a bit of a longer shoe. Inside, they're both true to size for my uh, US 9.5, UK 9, both fit the same in terms of length. Uh, there's three reasons why I'm switching from the Rincon 3 to the Mach 5. Number one is uh, the comfort of the foam. It's a little more, I don't say plush or sophisticated, but this one, um, while the foam is certainly fine, there's good, you know, super high stacks in both of them and quite a bit of foam. I found this one more comfortable. Simple as that. Uh, and probably um, just as importantly, if not more so, is the width. So the Mach 5 is actually, um, fits the foot more, uh, you can get a better cinch and, uh, and, and tie down, if you will, on your foot. I don't have a high arch either, pretty much of a normal foot, but I found the Rincon 3 was just too loose inside. Um, so side by side, my foot, even if I cinched the laces, I found there was too much space. They both have wide toe boxes, which is pretty typical of these models of Hoka's, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I got used to that. But when it comes to the width moving side by side, I found that the Rincon 3 was just not able to give me the same fit and comfort and cinch down that the, the Mach 5 does. If you happen to have a really wide foot and you don't go to, say, a, a double E width, uh, you may be better off with the, the Rincon 3. But if you have a normal to average or even potentially a narrower, well, if you've got a really narrow skinny foot, you may not even be in the Hoka's. But if you can get a Mach 5 on sale, I think you're going to find it slightly superior to the Rincon 3 for those reasons. There's probably two or three other small little things, but that's in a nutshell why I want to share with you. Hope this helps if you're torn between the two and not sure what to do. Okay? All the best. Take care.